All right, let's get a backbeat going. We're gonna enter studio, make some music, add a new track, a drum and beat track. I'm going to get the sound in order first. It's a um, drum kit called Love, L-U-V. Click on that, and click the X, so it says love right here. We're just gonna get a backbeat going right at the beginning. Um, and just so I can hear it over and over again, I'm going to loop it and turn it purple. And let's see how that sounds. We're sounding close, but there are a few effects that we could add to make it sound more like Save Your Tears. So we're going to click this Add Effects and Add Effect, the yellow Dynamics Compressor. We're going to affect some of these. We're going to change that to 15 milliseconds. I, what I'm doing is I'm clicking on the um, parameter I want to change and then dragging my mouse up and down until the number matches. So 15 milliseconds. This is going to just go all the way down to like about 6 um, or 5.8 milliseconds. This ratio all the way to 8 to 1. 8 to 1, and this to negative 29. And then the knee is good at 0.5. We're just going to turn the volume down a little bit of it, and that should be good. So let's listen now. It just makes it a bit crisper to sound like the weekend's version. And I'm going to un... Um, deactivate the loop on that. I'm just going to drag this all the way to about 41 measures is good for now. That'll get us um, almost through the first chorus. Now I'm going to add um, some hi-hats to this back beat. Um, so another drum and beat track. And I could have added it to love, but the hi-hats sound a little bit different, more similar to this machine called CR-18. So I'm going to add this for the hi-hats. So it looks like this. Then we're going to add it on the eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... But it doesn't begin until um, measure five. So I'm going to drag it over until it lines up with five. And then I'm going to let that loop all the way. So it should sound like this. All right, we've got our drum beat about happening. I just want to add a clap sound now. So I'm gonna go over to the loops and I want a crisp clap number two and I'm going to drag it in to the third track but that's too long I just want one clap to start to really um get the transition going so I'm going to make this shorter by looping it back and then also dragging once my cursor is a line with two arrows drag it all the way so it's just one little lone clap and I want this to line up with the line right here, right before measure five. And I can just like, oh, I don't want that. Okay, so this will just be like that. And let's listen. And it's pretty subtle here, but I promise that once everything's together, um, it will start get happening. All right, let's um, save and move on to the next part. 